This is a beginner's ukulele lesson on how to play jazz. We're going to be exploring a charming song, Robin in the Rain. As we learn this song, you'll be learning some classic jazz harmony that you can use as a building block for your own songwriting. This is a beginner's tutorial, and I teach in a way where it's interactive. So please get your ukulele and be prepared to work with me as we practice and learn new things. Be sure to watch all the way to the end for the final play-along jam. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Everything you need to follow along with this lesson is going to be shown right here on the screen. But if you'd like to support this channel and help it grow, please check the links in the video description below. You can join as a member and get all kinds of cool perks for your music journey. Huge thank you to everybody supporting this channel as a member. I'm so glad you're here watching either way. This goes out by special request to Jennifer Herbert, who is a member of the Ukulele Zen community. Robin in the Rain is a tune made famous by kids artist Raffi, but it's a tune that's for all ages. It has a lot to teach us about jazz harmony. Let's dig right in. Right now I'm gonna demonstrate the whole song for you. It's not very long. And then I'm gonna break down all the details. Thanks for watching. Robin in the Rain, what a saucy fellow. Robin in the rain, mind your socks of yellow. Running in the garden on the nimble feet. Digging for your dinner with your long strong beak. Robin in the rain, you don't mind the weather. Showers always make you gay. But the worms are wishing you would stay at home. Robin on a rainy day. Robin on a rainy day, don't get your feet wet. Robin on a rainy day. Do you like jazz and early swing styles? If so, let me know your favorite tunes in the comments section down below. I would love to make videos that you really want to dig into. Now let's break down that intro. One and two, three and four. One, two, three. This whole song begins with this chord progression. Robin in the rain, what a saucy fellow. This is a classic kind of old school swing progression. Let's learn it. G major for two strums, then B minor seven for two strums, open A minor seven for two strums, D seven for two strums. Now I'm calling it two strums, but it's really two beats. Let's add one other chord. Robin in the rain. See how I filled in the space there between B minor 7, I went to B flat minor 7, and then open A minor 7 to D7. The rhythm I'm playing, I'm using my thumb to make a nice swing rhythm. I like this drum for swing because it adds a lot of rhythmic texture. You strum down on beat 1, on beat 2, a little faster, and then mute. Beat three, strum on beat four, faster, and then a mute. Keep the mute light, we're not smacking the ukulele, and although we are stopping the hand, try to have it feel fluid. As we flow with this, it becomes fluid. Join in with me, let's practice. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You get long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. Congratulations, you just practiced some swing rhythm. You can, of course, add an up strum of the index. And if you prefer to do this in a different fingering, by all means, customize this for what feels right to you. Awesome chord progression. Let's jam it together. Two, three, four. Robin in the rain. What a saucy fella. Again, Robin in the rain. Mind your socks of yellow. The chord progression moves on with D minor. Digging in the garden on your nimble feet. I said digging instead of running, but it's because I dig it. Now when you play this chord progression, there's a decoration you can add to the end. Running in the garden on your nimble feet. If you're comfortable to play your C major chord in this position, you can make a classic walk down. Notice how after each chord I'm strumming and then shutting the sound off by lifting the pressure. All right. 
right? So that muting of the left hand is important for keeping the rhythm crisp. After that, we arrive at the A7 chord for four beats, and then D7 for four beats. Let's play this whole bit, and then I'm gonna show you a cool thing you can add to the D7 chord. From D minor, here we go. Running in the garden on your nimble feet. Digging for your dinner with your long, strong beak. Garden in the... All right, so what did I do there? I am moving from my A, D7 down to the first fret, and then back up to D7. And then I move these same two fingers to the first fret to make a G diminished chord, and then up to G. So now let's move on to the second half. Before we do, if you're enjoying this and getting some value out of it, do me a huge favor and reach out, click that like button, click the subscribe button. There's a ton of free content waiting for you at my channel, Ukulele Zen. And if you'd like to support this channel, help it grow and get a ton of cool perks with your membership, check the links down below to explore all the different tiers of membership available for you as a member of the Ukulele Zen community. The second part goes like this. Starts the same, here we go. Robin in the rain, you don't mind the weather. Next, we can do this with two chords or we can add some other variations. Check it out. Showers always make you gay. Totally works. It's great to do it just with our G7, C, G7. C, but if you want to add a little more variety, try this out. Showers always make you gay. So what did I do? I played two beats of G7, then I slid up for two beats of another voicing of G7. Many of you already know this, I'm sure. It's fretted four, five, three, five. It's Another voicing of G7. Showers always make you gay. Give yourself a hand for trying something new. This chord progression right here, notice how the first finger is a pivot finger. All right, everything's dancing around that finger. The last part of the tune, so cool, there's two ways to do it. But the worms are wishing you would stay at home. That's a classic way to have the last eight bars of a jazz tune of this era. You move from the one chord to the diminished, back to the one, to the six, and then from here you go, Robin on a rainy day. All right, but you want to learn a more hip version? It's not hard, check it out. But the worms are wishing you would stay at home. Ah, what am I doing? I'm moving from the one chord, G, to the open strings, A minor seven, that's the two chord. I fill that in with a diminished. And then I'm gonna go to that B minor seven again, the three chord. And that three chord is pointing, like a big Monty Python finger, it's pointing to the sixth chord, which drives us forward to the final turnaround, A minor seven to the D6 to G. Now I know that's a whole bunch of information. If you didn't click away, mwah, I love you. Let's practice it together. Two, three, four. But the worms are wishing you would stay at home. Later, of course, in a future course, I'll show you different ways of how you can play all these, you know, sing blah, blah, and all the different, different voicings, blah, blah, blah. But let's just stay with this because we're supporting the voice. What we're doing is A minor seven to the D six, to the G, to the six chord, E seven, Robin on a rainy day. And then I had this Django Reinhardt style walk up. I used to play Django's music all the time on my guitar. So
So I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want to hang out with more of my videos, please check out the channel page and there are links down below to join the community where there's all kinds of bonus lessons to take you deeper. If you're still watching, we're going to practice all the way through. Let's do it. Two, one, two, three, four. Robin in the rain, what a saucy fella. Robin in the rain, mind your socks are yellow. Running in the garden on your nimble feet. Digging for your dinner with your long strong beak. Robin in the rain, you don't mind the weather. Showers always make you gay. But the worms are wishing you would stay at home Robin on a rainy day Robin on a rainy day Don't get your feet wet Robin on a rainy day Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you joining in and making music with me. Wishing you and your family all the best. Keep on jamming, and I'll see you in the next video soon.